Hello everyone, I am Kat. Welcome to my channel, you have arrived. I got a really super fun and exciting video today. I'm like, I'm so thrilled to do this. I'm trying out an at-home lash lift kit. That's right. So this kit today is from Cleon Prime. I've never ever used a lash lift kit before. I've never even had my lashes lifted before. So um, I can't wait to share this with you. And if you can't wait to check it out too, then don't go anywhere. Stick around with me. And of course, keep watching. And if you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. And here it is, the Cleone Prime Lash Lift Kit. It is a three steps in one lash lift kit and it is also made in Korea. Let's get a little uh, closer look here. And on the back here, it does have the instructions and then down below, it gives you some cautions of what to do and what not to do. So let's get ready to kind of like tear open this box and get inside of it and see everything that it comes with. Here are some lower eye patches that I did not use and all of the applicators and a Y brush as well as the three different size bumps and a glue ring. I also, I tried to use it and then I didn't. Here's the glue and the three steps one through three. I guess that's everything. It says there's apply lash primer to lashes avoiding skin and eyelid. Apply from the base of the lashes to tips. I don't have a lash primer. It like didn't come with a lash primer. I, I double checked um, my order to see if what I bought came with a lash primer. It doesn't. So um, my lashes are clean. I'm just gonna skip that step then because let's hope it doesn't mess it up. So then the next step would be technical difficulties that choose the correct size pad for eye size and desired curl. After finally deciding what size pump I was going to use, um, it's time to start. Now I actually did start with one and then I did change my mind. This is the one that I changed my mind and decided I'm going to use. But of course first get these curls out of my face and now it is time. So I'm picking up that adhesive. I did apply it to um, the lower lid like as close to my eyelashes as I could and a little bit on top of the lid and then press the bump on top of that and I'm right here I'm just trying to make sure that none of my eyelashes are stuck under the bump once I feel like there's no eyelashes there I put a little bit of glue on the top let it get a little tacky and then begin pressing the lashes up on top of the bump so you can use the flock there's also that Y brush I started to kind of use that as well I didn't like how that worked so then I just kept either using um, the flock and it seemed to work way better and then here I just kept adding glue um, if I felt like the lashes weren't sticking and staying enough so just kind of keep playing with it and messing with it and then right here is the actual Y brush and I was like all right let's give it a little try so I gave it a little try it really wasn't doing crazy much it was just getting really like frustrating so I went back to the flock like I said before and it worked pretty darn good and then also to the glue ring I did use it as at first and then I decided not to because you can just kind of take it right from um, the step one step two or step three because you're not going to reuse those so you don't really have to put it in that applicator at least for me personally it was just easy to go right from it now after I do coat it it does say to don't get too crazy close to like your lash line the base and don't go to the tips you just want like the mid of the lash now it does not say to use saran wrap I use saran wrap because some videos I watched some People did the same thing, so I was like, all right, let me do the saran wrap. So we did. I can't remember how long I kept it on for the first step, but I kept it on for that time. It does say to wipe off the excess, so I did use a paper towel, wiped it off, and then I began step two here. So same thing, you apply it almost all the way down to the base, and you keep going up until you get to the lash tip, you, or you don't want to go all the way to the lash tip. Then I went ahead to the saran wrap again, I kept this on for 10 minutes, and then I wiped off the excess. And then here we go, step three. Um, I actually used this step to also um, get rid of the tackiness. So you're moisturizing your lashes, and then you're also like setting them free from the glue. So you're working away and working it away, and then I, um, it works really well to get off of your lid. Um, and bam, look at that. I was amazed when, as soon as I removed that bump, I was like, oh, these look 
stunning. I was so impressed for an at-home lash lift kit. Like, oh my gosh, I mean, it's the first one I've ever tried. Look at that, stunned. I was amazed and I was so excited to get started on the second eye. So let's sit back, relax and watch this transformation happen again. And here are the results with no mascara and I'm impressed just without mascara. I have also lifted my lashes another time since uh, this lift and I absolutely love them. So the same kit, uh, cause it does come in, it comes with enough for three lifts. So I got one more left and these are my lashes the next day. Cause the kit does say once you're done lifting them, don't get them wet and don't put any makeup on for 24 hours. So that's what I did. So next day lashes here, I'm applying some mascara. I used um, the first mascara. There was one that it was a new mascara I've never used. I didn't like it. And then I used another one I do like, but I have even out both eyes. So I start with the one I didn't really like. And then the one I do like, I, I will list both of them um, in the description box for you guys. And then I also like to get my bottom lashes. So I did a quick little coat for those. Um, and just a quick reminder of what the lashes looked before. No lash lift here. And then bam, end lash lift with a mascara. I'm sold. I will absolutely continue to get this kit. And that is it. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me and checking out today's video. I had so much fun trying out the Cleone Prime Lash Lift Kit. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the whole process, the results, my mascara results. I'd love to hear from you guys. I know that I'm a big fan of the lash kit and I can't wait to even try it again. I also can't wait to see the wear, how long these lashes are going to last, how long these lifted lashes are going to last. So all of my makeup lovers and my curl friends, I hope you guys will come back next week and join me for another video. Take care. At home lash, ooh, I cannot say that, lash lift kit. <laughs> the Cleone Prime. Nope. Nope. I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that. Let's do it again. <laughs> Need a curl lift. <laughs>